Hello, my name is Ruben de la Iglesia. I work as a project manager in the headquarters of Prague. And in this video, we will talk about how to administrate users in IntelliJ and IntelliSys controllers. This kind of controllers allows you to protect it with passwords or configuration, modify the set points and statistics with seven different access level. From the software tool IntelliMonitor, we can administrate the users and assign the different access level that we want to give to each user. We can access from monitor menu and the option admin users, but it's locked. To have this option available, we need to enter a password, the admin's password. From this menu, as you can see here, inside monitor enter password, or also we can do this, we can do this uh, from the toolbar and the, uh, and the access icon. There we need to enter the password, we insert the password that by default is zero. And once we enter the password, we can enter to the menu of admin users. We can also enter across the toolbar menu and there you will see the icon. From this window, we can do different actions. We have a button. We have a button here to restart all user password. This means that the password for each user will come back to the default value that is zero. We can do the same, but only for the select users, making that account's password going to the default value zero. We can, for example, create a user for an operator. The first user is gonna be operator. We can create another user that is going to be supervisor. Other one for a technical person. Other one for the system administrator, for example. And let's do a last one that is gonna be for engineers. As you noticed before, I can before I can edit the username, I need to enable it. If it's not enabled, it's not possible to edit the username or to create the user. Once the user are created, we need to assign the access level to the users. For example, for the operator, I can put level one, for the supervisor, level two, for the technical, level three, and for the system, A4, and for the engineering, we can put level six. The access level require, uh, is required for modify set points, statistics, or control commands. We need to modify them in the configuration using the software tool GenConfig that I have open here. In the tab commands, we can choose uh, which kind of commands and statistics uh, we need to have a special access. They need to be logged into can be modified. In the tab set points, I can do the same, but for different set points. I can do a uh, all the groups at once with the options below. So you see that all, all of them go to four or I can go one by one modifying each one. Once we write the configuration in the controller, we can choose the user. I can log in, insert a password, for example, for operator. I will log in, okay, and I, I will have level access one. If we check this in the configuration of the controller as in the communication parameters and engine parameters, you will see that it's demand higher level access. We can check that, uh, we can check now in IntelliMonitor that this uh, in the set point windows that these parameters are locked and can't be modified. As you can see, I cannot modify them. If now I log out and try to log in six times, for a uh, with a wrong password, I will start to get the message that incorrect password. But after six times, the controller will be locked. You can see there that it appears a message, okay? The message of the password of the password incorrect, okay? And now the controller is uh, lo is blocked during six during five minutes. 
as you can see it's not possible to connect until this time the time and until this time has gone i hope that this information that we share with you in this video is useful and in case of any question you always can contact to our technical support department where we will be happy to help you thank you for watching